Hi, Johnson is kaput, finito, with the pincher groper cover-up revelations being the final straw for the whole lot of them. The second in command, the Chancellor, Sunak, resigned, followed minutes later by Health Secretary Javid, then came the torrent of non-entities resigning, and then MPs from every portfolio. Whew, he's through, but all washed up. For me, the end point came when Bell End Bellwether, Lee Anderson, Red Wall MP, abandoned him. It's only a matter of days before Johnson is peeling off his 850 quid a roll wallpaper and cancelling the Harrods hampers. Johnson, his Cenobites, may hang on as a caretaker PM along with the remnants of the cabinet during the recess and the gruelling leadership contest. This, against the background of strikes, consumer protests, looming civil disorder, collapsing infra and superstructures, inflation, recession. The collection of carnival sideshow freaks, bizarros, that constitute the parliamentary party will be completely distracted by the forthcoming leadership election. Against this dramatic background, the Tories mark two, Labour, by their time, waiting for power to drop into their laps via the next general election. Good luck with that one. Whoever wins any leadership contest, all the problems will not only remain, but would have increased, practically unsolvable within the present framework. Things are now moving quickly, about to spiral out of control beyond the current rule and fool scenario. Where this will go, what forms it manifests itself, who knows? However, alternatives will arise from the turmoil. We have to ensure much of this has a strong anti-authority anarchistic tinge. Bye.